Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. And today we are going to answer that burning question. Will my Synology run that program or package? Let's talk about how we're going to do that. So I'm going to leave a link to this down in the description. But what this is, is this is Synology's website and it shows the add-on packages that are available. And you can just see how many different add-on packages they have. Now, I get this question a lot, especially after I release a video, is, you know, will this will this work on my Synology? Well, I don't always know which model of Synology you have, but you do, right? So if you go to this link, you can actually come over here and you can search for a model name. So I'm going to type in DS218 and I'm going to hit enter. And after I hit enter, it's going to display the packages that will run on my Synology. So let's let's uh, let's really test this out. We're going to pull up the Synology website, and we're going to pull up a couple lower end models and feed that in here, and we're we're going to see what happens. All right, so here we are under the uh, J series on the Synology website, and the single disc. I have one of these. I love it. It's just simple. If you're just starting and you want an actual Synology, these things are like 115, 150 bucks somewhere in there. Uh, then they've also got the EDS 14, which is meant to go in rugged conditions. Which I want to get my hands on one of those. Those things are they appear to be awesome. Now. This DS-115J obviously does not have the horsepower of a 218 Plus or a 918 Plus. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed this, the DS-115J. We're going to put that over here, DS-115J. And we're going to hit Enter. And now you can see it removed a bunch of packages. So these are the packages that Synology says will run on the DS-115J. Now, watch what happens when I clear this. All of these other packages that will uh, that have not been selected specifically for that Synology, they reappear. So this view right here, this view, this is all packages. And then when we feed in that, uh, what was that model number? It was uh, DS-115J, DS-115J, and I, it takes out the packages that will not run. So it is a very quick way for you to come in here. If there's a specific application that you want to run on your Synology, come in here, double check the model you're thinking about buying, and then you'll know whether that application is going to run. So let's look at the EDS-14. We'll clear this, and we'll put in EDS-14. And once again, it removed all the packages and left the packages that will run. So now let's do this. Let's go back over here. And then let's go to products and let's go to the uh, plus series. And let's look at a DS218 plus. So we'll come over here, DS218 plus. And I didn't notice what packages did or didn't disappear, but you can see that the, that DS218 plus will run a lot of packages. So we'll clear that. I didn't see anything, but come in here, feed in, you know, your model number, especially if you think it might be a lower end model. Come over here, plug it in. That will let you know whether your Synology will run those packages. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need networking, voiceover IP, storage consulting, IT consulting in general, you can go to h5llc.com down there. Fill out the contact form and somebody will get with you as soon as possible. We do have a Discord channel. The link's down there. Charlie's our admin. He does a fantastic job. If you want to buy your own Synology or anything else you see us use here on the channel, we do have that Amazon affiliate link down below. As always, I want to thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.